Hey, what's happening, gamers? It's Amber here with Kaming's Let's Plays. Hope you guys are all having a great day today. And today I'm going to be playing a different game, another farm sim or life sim game that um, is similar to the ones I was playing before. And that is Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, I wanted to start over on this game because I never really got a chance to play it. I just visited a lot of people's towns. I didn't have a lot of chance to actually play the game and just have fun um, enjoying it. So I'm going to start over with a new island and I'm just going to uh, just kind of have fun uh, playing this game again actually. Um, good afternoon. We're excited to have you here. Welcome to the check-in counter for your big moving day to Lame Isle. There's so much looking forward to, but first let us introduce ourselves. I'm Timmy with Nook Incorporated. Alright, I think they're saying Lame Isle because Luke's Isle is named Lame Isle. But, um, I'm gonna be on a different account, so I don't know what that's gonna do. Alright, and I'm Tommy. The two of us are already living in Lame Isle. We're... Uh, we're there to support everyone, including you. Think of us as your partners. We're in for, for the long haul, so let's get started, shall we? Now, let's walk through the steps of getting you moved into the island. The first step is checking your application. Is this your first time applying for one of our packages? Um, yes it is. Understood. Now then, we'll need to look up your application. Can we have your name and birth date? Um... Yep, I'm gonna, let's see. <sighs> uh, let's see if we can make, I thought there was like a little squiggly line or something. I can make this look cute. Okay, there we go. Um, good to see you. Hi, Jessica. Hi, Tom. Hi, everyone. It's your sister's birthday today. Awesome. Happy birthday your sister has seen. Um, yes. And my birthday is January 18th, so I might as well just put that down. Let's see. Oh, yes. Here you are. Our next step will be to take a picture of you, Amber. Don't worry. Take as much time as you need to get yourself looking the way that you want. I thought it was literally going to take a picture of me or something. Okay, I kind of forgot how this works. Alright, so these are the hairstyles they start you out with. kind of forgot all of this. And you can make your eyes pretty much any color. Um, that's cute. I think that's how my eyes look like last time. Alright, yeah, the pink is cute. Alright, so I guess we're good. Great, you're all set. I'll just go ahead and add that picture to your records. That concludes everything we need to do here. Don't worry, we'll give you an in-depth overview of an island on an island once we're back on the ground. 
on your island. Your attention, please. This is a service announcement. The charter flight to Lame Isle is ready for boarding. Any customers wanting to board should make their way to the gate at this time. Perfect timing. Come on, let's all board the plane together. So I don't understand why it's having me go to Lame Isle. That's strange. Hello everyone, thank you for taking this charter flight to Lame Isle. Please sit back and relax and enjoy a free video about Nooks Inc.'s deserted island getaway package. Very cute teaser for um, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Um, Well, if uh, for some reason, hopefully this works, if for some reason it doesn't, then I'll have to, like, delete something. Yeah, Animal Crossing characters are cute. Definitely Maui's Cavern. Oh, wow. So we are on Luke's Island for some reason. Why would this be? I don't understand at all. It's very strange. I should be having my own island. Alright, welcome to Lame Isle. I hope you enjoy your flight. Would you please join us for an orientation session? Alright, this did not go the way that I thought this was going to go at all. I thought I was going to be making my own island. Uh, very strange. Welcome to Lame Isle. Well, there's a little comfort item for you, and I'm terribly sorry due to a slight mix up, but you weren't able to pick a place for you to live yet. You take a look around up your tent wherever you would like. It shouldn't be a problem, right? After all, it's keeping with our original deserted island theme. There's something else you need as well. Uh, it's your very own Nook phone, and I made these especially for island residents. So, I want to make sure it's working. Okay, so this didn't work out how I thought this was going to work at all. I thought I could play offline without um, going to Lay Mile at all. I was gonna make my own um, island. Okay. But I have, um, I have three different um, online accounts. Hmm, that's very strange. Very good, then this should be a breeze for you. In fact, these Nook phones are rather easier to operate than or ordinary phones. We simply remove most of the features. Okay, there's a very useful app that contains advice for living here. Normally this would not be free of charge, but as you're getting started, consider it an extra bonus. It's called Island Life 101. It's sort of a message delivery service of sorts. Feels like giving it a try. Sure. Okay, I'll need you to put your Nook phone again so I can send you the app. Mm -hmm. 
Well, this isn't exactly how I wanted to start Animal Crossing again. I wanted to make my own island. But I guess we can start with Luke's Island and um, redo it or something. I have no idea. You'll start getting messages once you're out and about doing things ready as they arrive. Um, that's very strange. I don't understand why it wouldn't let me start my own island. I wanted to go offline. It's your itemized bill. This includes everything. Airfare, accommodations, etc. Um, I was prepared to, uh, for exactly this type of tricky situation. For getaway package, you can pay your fees with miles instead of standard bells. I can call this extremely helpful service the Nook Mileage Program. Well, it's quite extraordinary if I do say so myself. With the Nook Mileage Program, you can earn miles simply by living your life here on Lay Mile. I dare say, the more you enjoy your island life, the more Nook Miles you can earn. And you can use them to pay back your move-in fees and much more. So, the bottom line is you need 49,000 bells to pay your move-in uh, fees with this new service. Would you believe it? It only comes to 5,000 miles. I'll just go ahead and register so you can pay in miles. But there are more details available with your Nook phone. Just open the Nook Miles app. You'll see that you've earned some miles just for traveling to the island and joining the program. Now, if you could turn your attention to the residential services behind me, the delightful Isabel and I are already 24 hours a day, are ready 24 hours a day to support you, so stop by to consult us whenever. Now, if you'll excuse us, we'll be getting back to work. We're happy to have you as a Nook Inc. customer. All right, so just like in Disney Dreamlight Valley, I guess I'm going to be taking over. I guess I'm going to be taking over Luke's area. In uh, this is his Animal Crossing town, so hopefully I won't change too much. Um, but I'll, maybe I'll make like a part of this island my mine. From now on, your life here will be automatically recorded, being auto save. Do not touch the power button when you see the auto save indicator in the right um, screen. You can also save and quit your game by pressing minus. Oh, I'm not going to delete Luke's Island. There's no way I'm going to delete Luke's Island. I just thought I could make my own island. I'm on a different account, so there's no way I'm deleting Luke's Island. No way would I do that. No way. Alright, so looks like, uh, I guess like Tom was telling me, you could only have one island per switch or something like that. My switch uh, doesn't have any. Um, my switch is broken, so... I'm going to try uh, getting back into Animal Crossing. This is Luke's Island. So I made my own account and I'm going to kind of hang out with um, with Luke on his island. So um, the first thing is first, I guess we're going to have to um, get some materials from Timmy and Tommy. Pretty sure we have to go to the store for that. So let's see if we can get a shovel. Okay, that's Jeremiah. Okay. Alright, here we go. Oh, I'll be able to change a lot on this island. I'll be able to change a lot on it. Um, welcome! I just can't make a new one. Um, you've come to shop. You've got all sorts of furniture and goods. I'm sure you'll find something useful here. We're very proud of our selection. Please take your time and look around. Okay, so... Let's see. I kind of forgot how I use... Oh, first the thing I need to do is get my tent. So we're going to put our tent up somewhere. Um, yeah. It has its moments. It's got Godzilla and stuff like that. Um, I'll be able to change... Uh, a lot of things on the island, actually. The flowers and everything else. Um, I'll be able to do a lot, actually. Okay. Alright, so... Um, there's somebody else who was kind of a failed attempt at, at moving in here. So, let's see. 
we're gonna find a cool place that we can put a tent and uh, make it our own area. There's somebody made a very cool uh, K-Wing picture with a flag for us. And we've got all those Mario exclusive things from last time, a little climbing wall, which is super cute. So we just have to find a good place to put the tent. Hmm. Well, we can't go up that hill yet. So... Um... All right, so let's see what it would look like if we put our house here. I'm gonna put it right on top of this rock. Is this a good spot? Yes, I think so. I set up my tent. Now I have home based on my new island life. All right, now we got something from Nintendo. Congratulations on your big move. We hope you enjoy your new life on Lame Isle to celebrate this fresh start, we'd like to give you a gift that is sure to come in handy. Alright, let's see. Let's see what our gift was. Alright, we got a simple workbench. So we can put that, um... Whoops. Okay, we can learn that recipe. Oh, okay, so it looks like we are gonna have to talk to Tom Nook to figure out how to learn recipes and things like that. All right, so we're gonna go talk to Tom Nook. Yeah, the, uh, the sidewalks and everything in this island are looking pretty cute. So, let's see. Ah, Amber, welcome to Resident Services. This is where we support the lives of all island residents. Feel free to chat with me about island life anytime. For island business, Isabel will be happy to assist you. Um, oh, one more thing. Um, I'm offering a free DIY workshop that can help you really build out your island experience. I think it would be quite useful, so I hope you take me on. Hmm... All right, so I guess I'll talk to him. Yes, it is the construction counter. Before we begin, allow me to quickly explain the services offered at my counter. This is where I give advice on island living homes, that sort of thing. If you're unsure about what to do, just ask, what should I do? And I'll give you some advice. And with that information in mind, what do you think? How can I be of assistance to you? Um, I need your help. Oh, ready to jump into action? In that case... What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. Um, about the workshop. Yes, yes, the DIY workshop. Each participant will make and keep their own tools and receive a set of DIY recipes. I think it will be quite useful for island life, hmm? So shall I put you down for the next available session? I love to. All right, that's the spirit. I happen to be free right this very moment, so let's get started. So we're going to try to get our tools. Ah, welcome to my DIY workshop. I suppose workshop is overselling it a bit, hmm? When you see how simple it is to DIY or do it yourself, you'll understand what I mean. The basic idea is to gather materials, follow a recipe, and then craft using a workbench like this one. Today we'll be constructing a fishing rod using common materials that you can find anywhere, yes? For this particular recipe, we require a mere five tree branches. 
I admit, uh, it is admitted a little flimsy. Now then, come see me once you have collected all the materials. Alright, so once we collect five tree branches, now we can ask Isabel. It's nice to meet you. My name is Isabel, and I work here at Resident Services. You must be tired from all your travels, but I just want you to know that I'm always here to help. At this counter, I can help you with great, with both general issues and issues you may face with residents. We can delve into the details when specific concerns arise. No need to worry about that right now, but since you're here, I might as well ask, do you have any specific concerns at the moment? Um, sure. Oh, this is exciting. My first official request. Ahem. I am sorry. Uh, that wasn't professional, was it? Now then, how can I help you today? Um, I guess island features. Is there anything specific you'd like to talk about? Okay. No. We're good. Alright then, if there's anything I can assist you with in the future, do not hesitate to ask. Alright, so we have our first task, which is we need to pick up five sticks. Alright, hi everyone. Hope you guys are uh, doing great. Alright, so we're going to go try to pick up some sticks from the ground. And um, this is some really cool art that um, some of our subscribers made for us. And I think I, I may have made some of it. So we've got Thundercats. I believe this is... Uh, is that either Street Fighter uh, symbol or something? And there's uh, Autobots Transformers, which is pretty cool. And that is actually Luke's house. I don't know if I can go in his house. This is K-Wing's house. Yep, thank you for the likes and shares, everyone. It helps out tremendously. Thank you so much. Alright, let's see here. Okay. Alright, so we're inside Luke's house, and uh, he's got a lot of cool things in here. And a lot of cute items. A lot of Nintendo exclusive items he got. So, really cute um, house he's got here. Alright, so we are going to... We're going to be on a mission to pick up some sticks. I don't really know how to get the sticks. I guess just shake. Oh, that's a pears. Okay, we got... Okay, looks like we can just um, shake the tree branches. We can also weed. I think that's going to give us some nook points. Okay. Alright, we got some money. That's good. All right, looks like we have two sticks all together. And Luke grew some money trees there, which is good. Well, this will be nice. We can keep um, Luke's island really pretty. just leaving coconuts on the ground Let's see so we just need a couple more sticks here and then we can go talk to Tom Nook again oh my gosh I really don't want to get bee stung on the first day oh no Whoops, I did get the beef hive, um, Jessica. Whoopsies. 
Well, now we're gonna have to use whatever coins we got to to um get some medicine. Well, maybe we can sell this. We can sell this um, at the store. Darn it. <laughs> All right, we got another stick. All right, let's see how many sticks we have. We have three sticks and one beehive. Alright, we got five sticks, so now we can go back to Tom Nook and get our first tool set. We have to go all the way around here. Medic! That's right, Game Wing. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi, Isaiah. Hi, Tom. Hi, Alpha. Hi, Jessica. Hi, everybody. Hi, Blues Cat. All right, so um, I guess I'll give this to Tom Nook, and hopefully he can help me out here. Amber, found the necessary materials? Well, then, let's get started crafting the fishing rod. To begin with... Select a project from the workbench and get started. Go ahead and give it a try. Oh, is this the... Oh, this is the workbench over here. Alright, crafting a um, workbench. Or crafting a fishing rod. I made a flimsy fishing rod. Yes, that was perfect. As you can see, crafting um is quite simple, provided you have the correct recipes. Hmm. And that concludes my free DIY workshop. Oh, there's just one last thing. I have a few common DIY recipes for you, free of charge. Naturally, just need to send them to your Nook phone. Would you mind opening it up? Alright, now we have DIY Recipes app on our phone. Splendid, thank you. The DIY app is now installed on your phone and is ready for you to use anytime. And the flimsy fishing rod you just crafted is yours to keep. It may not last forever, but it should serve you well for a little while at least. I'm told that the best anglers like to switch up their favorite spots and fish at different times of the day. I suppose it is to catch a larger variety of fish. Hmm? Okay, so now we can actually um, go fishing a little bit and hopefully craft some things on our own. Oh, you can always go back into your tent with bees. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, good tip there, Shadow Trooper. Definitely. Um, thank you for that. Alright, so we are back. This is our tent here. Sweet, I learned a DIY recipe from the workbench. So it looks like I couldn't use that um, before. Okay. So I, I learned the workbench recipe. So it looks like I'm... Um, we're going to go back to Tom Nook and see... Maybe we can buy something from Timmy and Tommy. But I don't think we can right now because... Um, I don't think we've unlocked that part of it yet. Oh, the anniversary of Space Ghost Coast to Coast? Awesome, Maui's Cavern. That's really cool. Okay, now we can buy something from them. Um, 
Okay, there- Oh, we don't have enough for medicine. I don't have enough. Well, maybe we can sell some things. Um... Okay, what exactly are you offering? Um, I'm gonna sell this and this. Look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me to, uh, just a moment. All done. I can buy these from you for 390 bells. Alright, so I sold him some grass and that beehive. Now I'm gonna try to get the medicine. Alright, I finally am better. I took the medicine. So we've got different things today. We got a little computer and um, some other things. So very cute. Some art supplies. Okay, okay, thank you for helping with the shares, Jessica. I appreciate that. Yep. Okay, guys, and so now I'm going to... Uh, Let's go to Town Nook and go see. Um, we're gonna go see if um, if we can learn how to make some of the other things. We just learned a new recipe. I'm gonna see if I can actually make it on his bench, and then after that, I'm gonna go grab supplies for that recipe, and then we're gonna see if we can make that later. Let's see. Should I craft something using Tom's workbench? So, th these are the things I have available. Campfire. Um, and looks like we can create a workbench, but we're going to need five hardwood and one iron nugget. So, that's going to be a while before I can get that. Um, we're going to need five pieces of tree and one stone for the axe and for the flimsy net, five pieces of um, branches, vaulting pole, five softwood, and a lot of different types of wood. All right, so. All right, so we are searching for eventually we want to make a workbench, hardwood, and an iron nugget. But before that, we're just going to try to just do regular things. We need five tree branches and a stone. And, um, and so basically we're going to need to get more tree branches. know we are a shadow band channel so uh you know likes and shares are going to help out tremendously and thank you for helping out with that jessica and other people appreciate that so much all right so i'm basically one of the things i'm going to do is just um weed all of these weeds can be picked up they're not necessary um so it's always going to help. It looks like somebody else has a workbench over here. So I can always use their workbench. Yeah, so believe it or not, selling weeds is actually a good way to make money in the game. When you're first starting out, 
Timmy and Tommy, um, Nook's little nephews, will will actually uh, buy your weeds. And it actually makes your town look a lot prettier. Unlike, uh... You know, unlike Disney Dreamlight Valley, where actually, um... Your, your town, basically, they, they keep throwing kind of weeds and sticks on the ground all the time. Um, when you weed your town in Animal Crossing, generally it, um, it's, the weeds stay out of that area for a little bit, so you can keep your town looking nice. Alright, so we already got a bunch of weeds. That's gonna help us buy. We can even buy a tool if we want to, if we have enough money for that. So this is, um, what Luke put at the beginning of here. He's making people pay to get into his town. Pay or else. <laughs> oh, my husband has a very cute sense of humor. That's for sure. And here's his little, like, this is his little complex he made for all of his villagers and a graveyard that he put over here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, Luke has such a sense of humor. Alright, so we're gonna go try to find some more sticks and hopefully not get stung by a bee this time again. And we can only go certain areas until, um, until we actually get, like, a pole vaulting bowl and a a pole and a, a ladder, so we don't have either of those things yet. Okay. Alright, we can also pick up uh, seashells and we can go fishing since we got our fishing rod. So yeah, I've been playing Disney Dreamlight Valley and enjoying it, and I I just thought, well, why not play the original? This is, uh, Dreamlight Valley is definitely, um, based off of Animal Crossing, and I would say Animal Crossing is ultimately, uh, you know, it, it's kind of the game that a lot of these things are based off of, so I would say it's one of the most creative, um, games for, like, Life sim, farm sim, etc. Besides Harvest Moon. Okay, so I found another weed. We can get that. I'll try not to rip the tops off of the flowers. I'm collecting some shells. Oh, no. I can always see if I need to. I don't know if they, uh, you know, sometimes you can, I think, donate those to the museum. Some of the shells. Yeah, I mean, like, I didn't think I could do a lot with, um, with the, uh, w with the town for uh, Disney Dreamlight, but I've been able to do a lot with that town, and Luke started that town, so, um, I'm kind of coming in here and, um, finishing up well, this town as well, so, um, yeah, someone was asking how I uh, broke my switch. It just broke from wear and tear. Um, it just, like, the back side of it is just kind of broken. Whoops, I didn't go fast enough for that one. Okay. There's a little bathroom to change in. And I'm really happy to actually be able to play some Animal Crossing and just be able to relax playing it. So I haven't gotten to actually do a lot with it. It's mainly been visiting other people. And I always tell them, oh, I don't have time to do anything in my own town. So now I'll actually have time to relax and actually make my own town look nice. All right, we got a, a black bass. So we can probably go to the museum and see if there's any way um, that we can... Um, 
we can go to the museum and see if there's any way um, that we can actually donate some of these things. We can also talk to the villagers every day, which I didn't have time to do a lot last time. Um, hey there, my new snack buddy. My name's Jeremiah. And bugs and snacks are a thing. And saying man a lot, too. Like, man, snacks and bugs, right? That's basically me, but, you know... But you just moved here, right? Man, I can't wait to find out what your thing is. Even if it's not bugs and snacks, we'll still be friends. Alright, thank you, Jeremiah. Alright, so I think we can actually sell some of this... Uh, you know what we'll do? We'll go to the uh, museum and then... And then see if there's anything that we can donate first. Oh, look at this. I actually can get some sticks from here. We caught a surgeon fish. Okay, so now we've got a couple items. Let's go see if the museum needs any of these. Oh, you're playing, uh, I'm playing your favorite game. Awesome, Mlot. Very cool. Hi, Joshua. You, um, good. How are you doing? Hope you're having a great day. <sighs> All right, so let's talk to the owl and see if we can donate anything. Ooh, I beg your pardon. I'm a bit of a night owl. Don't, you know, drowsy in the daytime. More importantly, hootie hoo and hello to you. Welcome to Lame Isle. You must be our new resident, Amber, is it? Jolly good to meet you. Blathers at your service. I am the cur curator of this fine museum. Our primary focus is on the collection and exhibition of items important to the field of paleontology. Science. Ach, oh dear me. Was I caught in another rambling loop? I hope it wasn't too arcane this time. My feathers, I do apologize for going on such a matter, but I suppose... In summer, insects, fish, sea creatures, fo fossils, and works of art. Collect as many as you can, and I will put them on display. Let's work together to advance the culture of Lame Isle. I believe this is about the long and not so short of it. What's more, up the stairs and to the left is a cafe established in partnership with a museum. The museum and the cafe both are open to the public 24 hours a day. Please stop by anytime you wish. Might there be something which I can assist you? Um, uh, make a donation. Marvelous. What would you like to donate? Looks like this fish, actually, we didn't, we don't have that one yet. Ah, hoo-hoo! Why, this is a surgeon fish. Now, might I interest you in a few fascinating facts about the surgeon fish? Yes. Wonderful. I would love nothing more. Hoo-hoo! Careful now. These fish are particularly dangerous. Despite their seemingly docile appearance, with its saturated blue and yellow tones, the surgeon fish is quite breathtaking. It's got to keep up with all the other vibrant fish that live in the coral, too, I wager. Quite the competition. Its spine is sharp as a blade, so care must be taken when handling these beauties. And there you have it. Fascinating stuff, no? Rest assured, all donations are displayed in a timely manner. You have my gratitude. Might I help you with anything else? Uh, nope, I'm good. Jolly good. Please enjoy the rest of your visit. So we can go and see if we can actually find our surgeon fish now. Okay. All right, great job, guys, on 50 likes. I'm going to uh, put, put 100 likes for the next like goal. Thank you, guys.
All right. Yep, that is Blathers the Owl, um, Jessica. He's, I don't know if he's so creepy. He, he sleeps during the day. So we've got, um, I think, what is this? I was going to guess that's an alligator gar. Pond smelt, king salmon, sturgeon, mitten crab. So you can see all kinds of information about the different animals. So we're going to see if we can find our fish we just put in here. We have a koi fish in there. And I don't see the blue fish in here. Um, we've got a little red fish uh, going around in there, and and there's our shark tank, which uh, has a couple cool sharks in it. And I don't know where our blue fish is. Well, it's probably in one of these tanks. All right. Well, I didn't find it today, but I'm sure we'll find it next time. That's all right. It's like Dory from Finding Nemo. Definitely Joshua you. Yeah, so that was our newest fish we added today, and I can't seem to find it, but I'm sure Dory is somewhere in here. Um, I just can't seem to find Dory at the moment. You know what? Let's go up here. Maybe we can find Dory up here. Yeah, it looks like Dory to me also. Okay, here's a lot more fish. So there are a lot more tanks here. It's another uh, hammerhead shark. And yeah, so we still have a lot to fill out. So that means I Amber has a lot of work to do to help Luke's island. Um... So, I'm sure the fish is somewhere in here. I just can't seem to find it at the moment. But it's kind of interesting. When Luke and I visited an aquarium, it had a blue tint to the water also. So, maybe that blue... Um, well, of course, water is blue. But, I mean, it kind of had a blue tint to the glass when we were there. Well, we did donate it, so that's good. So, now, after we donated that, we know that, you know, it's... You don't really want to sell all your fish that you get without checking uh, the museum first because if you do that then you will basically um, you know you might sell something really rare that you're gonna need okay so we're gonna go back and visit Timmy and Tommy fish to eat I think you can make food in this game I don't think I I think Luke's character is that advanced I mine probably isn't all right so we're gonna sell some other stuff that we have we want to keep um, rocks or twigs because we're going to use those to make tools. Alright, so I'm going to sell the flower. Oh, actually, I can put a flower in my hair, so we're going to sell... We don't need any of these things. We have 30 sticks, so that's um, important. Okay, and we can't sell our fishing rod. Okay, so there we go. Alright, look at all the fine things you brought in today. Allow me uh, just a moment to run the numbers. And done. I can buy these from you for 4,000 bells. Sound good? Sold. Thank you. Please come again. Alright, so we got 4,000 bells with that. And uh, we're going to just check our... Let's see here. Alright, we're going to check our phone app. I'm just trying to figure out how to check my phone app. Okay, there we go. So we got an alert here. Okay, Critterpedia. Okay, check this app for all the information on all the bugs and fish you've caught. So my personal bugs that I've caught and fish is the surgeon fish, which looks like Dory, and the black bass. And then we've also caught... Um, I thought I caught a squid or something, but I don't see it here. All right. That's pretty cool. We can also see what our nook miles are. Um, 
so basically you can earn points. It's like Dreamlight points. So this is what Dreamlight is based off of. You traveled a long way just to move to the island. You've enrolled in the Nook Miles program. So we claim some Nook Miles just for that. Okay, so you get Nook Miles based on the number of um, of tools you craft. All right, so sounds good to me. We can also go to, looks like we can go to island designer mode. And we can actually move things on the island, so... So it looks like I can actually make pathways and stuff like that. But we're not going to do that at the moment. Um, so it looks like I can um, make changes to the island. Um, just like Luke could on his island. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is try to craft some other tools that we're going to need. Besides the fishing rod. Okay, so we've got the fishing rod. Now we can actually probably make a bug net. Alright, should I craft something using Tom's workbench? Let's craft. So this is the workbench you have to use at the beginning. Okay, I don't have any soft wood. Okay, I have uh, 44 tree branches. So let's craft this flimsy net. I made a flimsy net. Okay, we're going to keep crafting. And we need one piece of stone. I don't know how I'm going to actually do that. Maybe they would just pick up off the ground. So I'm going to need a shovel eventually to, to do that. Um, might have to buy a shovel. Uh, so, all right, so let's see. All right, so it looks like we don't actually, um, looks like we do not have a recipe to make a shovel for whatever reason. So since we got some money from selling all those weeds, oh, right, yeah, there is a uh, farming. I believe Luke has some uh, vegetables that he's grown and things. Definitely, Jessica. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna go and try to get a shovel. Okay, I'm gonna uh, try to buy one of these things that I don't have. Curious about what's in the cabinet? Here's what we have today. So I'm just gonna get a random shovel for 800 bells. Oh, and you know what? I think I'm gonna need a watering can, so I'll get one of those. And, oh, my goodness, we can actually buy these water. Oh, we could have bought these uh, recipes. Okay, so let's actually get this ladder recipe. Oh, I already have that. Okay, I already have that. Okay. All right, so let's actually get another recipe that I don't have. Because I'm going to get points for... This is a DIY recipe to create a watering can. 280 bells. I will buy it. So it looks like I can actually, um, okay, and a pickaxe recipe, that's important. Okay, they say I already have that recipe. Okay, so here's DIY for beginners, all the things that we need. So I think I'll do that. DIY recipe book.
Okay, time to send the recipe book DIY for beginners to your phone. Simple tools. That's right, Game Wing 1. Definitely. And we're done. I hope you enjoy DIY even more now with your new recipes. Any Anything else look interesting? Um... All right, so we'll try making a flimsy shovel. All right, I think we're good for now. We'll figure out the rest of the recipes later. It's a little overwhelming. All right, so that's Timmy and Tommy, Nook's uh, nephews, I think. Um, yep, Luke and I, uh, covered the entire Jump Force game together, um, on this channel. Yep, we did. We have a whole playlist of it. Okay, so let's go, um, let's go see if we can make some of these, uh, recipes. And we can actually learn them by looking in our inventory. Alright, so we're gonna learn the flimsy watering can recipe... So we might end up having a second shovel or a second watering can if we end up making it. Huh? Okay. Sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for flimsy shovel. Alright, now let's go see if we can make those things. Should I craft something using the workbench? And I don't remember getting a pickaxe recipe, to be completely honest, so I don't know exactly what, what they mean by that. Oh, we can actually make a, a fire, campfire, so let's do that. All you need is some logs for the campfire, so that's good. Alright, so let's see what else we can make. We can make a flimsy net? Okay. We already have that, looks like. So we have these three items, okay. Alright, so we unlocked a couple extra recipes by by getting that special recipe book. All right, so I guess I'll talk to Tom Nook and see if he has anything else for me to do. Hi Amber, hello! What would you like to talk to me about? I'm all ears. What should I do? Yes, yes. That is the question. Well, I don't mean to rush you, but there is a small matter of move-in fees. Putting in some work to chip away at those is always time well spent, if you ask me. In the Nook Miles app, you'll find info on how folks new to Deserted Island can earn miles. Scan the app to see the initial miles goals, and then pick one you think you could work on. Alright, so basically Nook is all about basically getting money. He wants the money. Alright, no, no problem, Smog M. Um, Alright, so I believe we have a shovel now, so... Let's see if we can... Now, I forgot how we actually switch tools. Okay, there, by the command cross. So now... Now we can actually get some of the... So basically, these flowers are in the middle of the path. So we can get them out of there and make it look nicer. Alright, so now we're going to be able to really, um, really make our island look a little bit better here. Look, I dug up a fossil! And hopefully we'll be able to, um, complete a lot of our fossils and things like that. 
we've been working on. I can talk to this bird over here. Hey, you must be Amber, uh, that I keep hearing about. Well, by now I assume you've heard of me. I'm Lucha. If you need any tips about what's cool on Lame Island, I am your bird. I don't know why Luke named his island Lame Island. I guess he was just trying to be weird. Okay. I've got a little gnome. I love garden gnomes. I would love to put those in my garden and stuff like that. I just think garden gnomes are very cute. Alright, so... Yeah, we've got a cool path over here. Eventually, um, we'll be able to uh, make more paths along the way and stuff like that. So, all right, maybe we will actually, um, I think the next thing I'd like to do is, um, let's see, we already, uh, let's see if we can actually hit this rock and get any rocks here. Oh, whoops. Well, we got some bells. That's good. Alright, so um, it might be kind of nice to plant some flowers around our house. We actually do have some we could plant. We can just kind of stand right next to our, our tent and plant that. Right. So the next thing I think I would like to do is I could make like a little path if I wanted to of uh, in front of my house. Look, I dug up a fossil. Okay. Oops. So I'm just kind of clearing out some of these extra extra flowers here. We could make like a little path in front of our house, but I think I would m rather go to the, um, oh, do I have a net yet? Did I make a net? I did. All right, I was trying to get a bee, but I'm, I'm a little nervous. So I think the bee is gonna sting me. All right, so. I think what I'm going to do is go and see if I can change my outfit and see what kind of outfit they've got going on at the store. So I think we've done a pretty good job on our first uh, part one of me moving to the new island. And uh, there's going to be a lot of work to do. Animal Crossing is actually a lot of work. Um, it takes a while to, um, like, you know... Um, organize all your flowers and talk to all the animals and do all the quests that they need. So we're going to go to the Able Sisters and see what kind of clothes they have. Okay. All right. Hey there, welcome to the Able Sisters, where we sell fashions made lovingly by Claw. Hmm, we haven't met before, have we? Well, I'm Mabel, and it's a pleasure to meet you. Here at Able Sisters, we carry a variety of apparel, shoes, and accessories, all lovingly Claw made. Here, let me give you a quick tour of our shop. Okay, so when you, f when you first walk in, you'll find our recommended items right here out in front. We change these up every single day to keep things fresh. Then over on the left, you'll find mannequins. They're dressed up in whatever seasonal outfits. We change them up from time to time rather than daily. We hope you'll be inspired. And of course, if you see something on the mannequins you love, you're more than welcome to buy it. Which brings us to the back wall. Here you'll find custom designs brought in by customers. We'd love to display your designs, of course. If you want any of these designs, they're yours for free. Speaking of custom designs, next to the wall displays your, um, you'll find our custom design portal. You can use that kiosk to order designs from creators all over the world and even share your own. The last thing I want is to tell you is about the fitting room. It's on the right side of the shop. This is where you can go to try on anything that's available for sales, for sale that day, including all the color variations. Our display 
closet space is limited, so the fitting room is also the place to check out items we couldn't put out. Yeah, the fitting room is really great, and it's a terrific way to see how an outfit is coming together. I think that's everything. Wow. I guess I kind of got chatty when I'm talking about the shop. We're open every day from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. I hope you'll be seeing you in here a lot. Thank you, uh, Mabel. So here's some cool designs that um, on the mannequins. And here's some custom designs that people have been making. And I, it's very possible some uh, viewers that visited the island made those. Okay, so let's go to the um, dressing room and see if there's anything in there. I like that person that stops by your island and sells clothes too. Cool shadow trooper. Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, there is that person that stops by. I forgot about her. Yep, it's a great way to see how things actually look on you. And you can try multiples at once. Okay. It's super convenient, so please feel free to use it anytime. Alright, thank you. Thank you, Mabel. Okay, so we're going to try on a new outfit. All right, looks like we have lots of outfits here we can try out. All right, let's see here. Yeah, I mean, with all of the uh, Animal Crossing clones going on, I really thought, well, might as well play the real thing because it's, um, like, Nintendo is definitely top tier. All right, so... Alright, so let's see what kind of things we've got going on here. So we've got, you can actually try them on and see what they look like. So I believe this is just like a little, um, it's a fast food uniform. Oh, that's cute. And we've got little, um, that's kind of cute. I don't know why I like gray on my character. You can have a comfy sweater, some cute bell-bottom pants, um, neat little skirt, magic robe, a pharaoh's outfit, a cute t-shirt dress, a little hat. So you can try things on all at the same time. A little monocle, cute little socks. Okay, I do like the pink socks. They're pretty cute. Alright, so it's adding up everything if I would wear everything at once. So I don't think I want to wear everything here at once. I kind of wish there was a little dress, but I see that there's not. All right. All right, I'm going to see what the little skirt looks like. You can't always win with everything, um, so that looks all right. These little bell bottoms look cute. And she makes different expressions depending, okay. All right, the little blue pants, and then let's see what kind of shoes we've got. So we're up to 2,000. So that's too much. I don't have enough money for the shoes. But at least I can kind of change my outfit for now. Um, well, this is... That's kind of cute. It's less expensive than... Um... All right, looks like the bell bottoms are the same price as that. So, I really do like the little pink shoes. 
But I don't think I can afford them because they're a thousand. So, I mean, that's kind of cute. So we got a new outfit. That's good enough. We can always um, earn more bells next time to get something else. Oh, yeah, try catching sea creatures in the ocean and they sell for a lot. Thank you, Shadow Trooper. Appreciate that so much. Thank you. Hi, uh, Kbomb289. How's it going? Hello, everyone. Hi, Tim. Okay, thank you for sending me the lyric video, Tim. Appreciate that so much. Thank you. Wow, that's a great look on you. I'll just go ahead and slip what you were wearing before um, in your inventory. All right. That so I'm I think oh look at this I'm almost matching this mannequin that's cute so you uh some of the stuff on the mannequins is actually in the dressing closet um okay so okay so actually I think okay a world of creativity waits the custom design okay you can take on let's visit the okay would you like to access the internet chaos no I don't think so. All right, so I think I can actually design my own um, my own dress here. Custom design. Okay, so let's see if we can actually try it. So this is actually there's already a lot of custom designs on here. So it looks like the same custom designs. All right, so some of these it doesn't look like you need to. I don't know. Some of these, I don't really know if we need to keep them. Okay. So we made a few custom designs. So. Oh, looks like, um, let's, let's see. Uh, okay. Now I know that there's another area where you can do like dresses and other kinds of clothes custom design, but maybe I don't have that um, one unlocked yet. All right, looks like I can't really do that. All right, so we're going to try to download one of these custom designs. Okay, so these are on the pro design. It's like a normal custom design. It's um, one picture on the front and back, but the pro design you can make each part individually. That lets you have more detailed stuff. You can make things like hoodies, dresses, coats, all kinds of things, and hats. With so many options, you can create the kind of pattern that really says amber. It looks like you haven't upgraded your custom design app yet. That's not a problem for using the pro design. Wear it all you like. You want to create pro custom designs, you're going to need to upgrade. You can get it by redeeming miles at the Nook shop in resident services. Alright, so we can actually wear a dress but that's on the custom design, but we can't make one um, yet. So let's actually go to our app and go to custom designs. And there are some of our custom designs. So we've got different kinds of dresses here. Like the one we just downloaded is this one. And now we're wearing like a little red and black dress. And I think this is one I, somebody designed earlier with this, like, a little blue dress. Um. Oh, I'm just wearing a sweater now. Whoops. Okay, that's interesting. Alright, I guess I'm going to go with this little dress, but I'll have to make up some more uh, designs. 
talk to the sister sewing, says Jessica. Oh, okay, I'll talk to her. Sure. Sorry, can't talk. Oh, I guess she can't talk to me right now. Thanks for stopping by. Alright, so I don't really know. As usual, just like in real life, I'm never sh quite sure what I'm going to wear for the day. My character is looking a little bit crazy, so hopefully... I'll eventually upgrade some of my designs so um, they look a little bit more normal, but um, yeah, so um, eventually we'll have to make like a little path that can go up here. Um, the next thing I probably could do is I can go on my Island Designer app. Should I start up the Island Designer app? Let's see if we can actually use the Island Designer. Let's see if we can make paths if we can. All right, so it looks like we can actually make some pathways. Okay, it looks like we just, I don't have any extra path right now. I just have this dirt path. So once we actually upgrade our, our designer app, we can actually make uh, better pathways and things like that. But for right now, I can um, definitely... Um, I think this puts it back onto grass, so... There we go. So now the pathway is kind of this way. Um, and we can move it to a different type. So... It, Eventually, we can um, have different types of pathways here. Whoops. And, uh, yeah, it looks like Luke had a brick pathway, which I don't have the ability to do that yet. But I can do the best I can with this, um, like, dirt path for now. We can just make, like, a little path up to our house. So it looks like we're part of the community. And I thought there was something in Animal Crossing where if you connect the paths, they like that a lot. Like, it, like um, you get like some kind of special bonus for that. I don't know. And you can kind of round the edges to make it look nicer. Um, whoops. Eventually, I'll have to get those little, like, um, the little flowers out of the way. But for now, we'll just round the edges and make it look a little nicer. So, yeah, now we kind of have a path leading up there. Okay. So we did a little bit of a... So we, we've we done a lot today. Um, we got our, our tent set up. We got our island pass set up. We've got a little path here. We, we got a few little exclusive um, outfits. And we made a few tools. 
so um, you know it's kind of one of those things that's little by little and uh, I think we're well on our way to um, eventually exploring more of Luke's lame isle and uh, just kind of making it our own um, of course I'll leave like a lot of th Luke's things here that he likes but there's a whole part of the island up there that I can um, explore and build things on so yeah I think it will be it will be really good Let's see Let's see where our shovel is Let's look at that shovel there oh and we got a little gyro awesome but I can't carry anything else We'll just swap it with a clump of weeds and there we go. All right, good work day. That's right, Game Wing. <laughs> I can work in the game and pretend that I'm working in real life. <laughs> but uh, yeah, thank you, Game Wing. <laughs> I think we did pretty well. You guys are going to see that this game is one of those things that you kind of need to um, work at little by little. And when I was visiting everyone's islands in Animal Crossing, I didn't really have time to work on my own island. Now my own island is gone because my switch is broken. So um, I'm going to take over Luke's island. I guess we'll talk to this deer and see what they have to say. Uh, have we met? Are you new here? Welcome to Lame Island. I'm Deirdre. I hope... Uh, hold up. Are you Amber? I heard about you. Psyched to finally meet you. Whatevs. Well, if you ever need stuff or need something to come rescue a boring party, I'm your gal. Awesome. Thank you, Deirdre. So, yeah. And also, talking to the animals and things like that is important. You have to keep up their relationships. It's like a whole different little world here in Animal Crossing. Okay, guys. Well, it says K-Wing, but that's okay. Um, it, I'm on K-Wing's Isle, so, and I am Luke's wife, so that totally makes sense. I'd be on K-Wing's Isle. So, uh, alright, guys and gals. So, thank you again for watching today. Um, watching me play some Animal Crossing, getting back into the game. There's so many things that we have still to do in this game. And to explore, and for me to re, um, you know, discover again. Uh, growing crops, making food, building things, um, just making the island look very beautiful. So I hope you guys have a nice day and I'll see you guys in um, hopefully between a half an hour or a little bit more for the next video which will be Disney Dreamlight Valley coming right up. Okay guys and gals, thank you so much for watching and, um, and I will see you guys uh, next time. Um, Probably maybe this week or next week with more Animal Crossing. And we'll see you guys for the next stream in about a half an hour. God bless. Happy gaming. See ya. More streams and videos all today, day today, including Sandland, Ace Attorney, and um, all kinds of stuff. Um, I think Lego Batman. God bless. Happy gaming. See ya.